Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my gua sha routine. I do this every morning. I've been doing it every morning since December. Sometime in December, um, I definitely see a difference in my neck and jaw. Um, I even had people tell me when I got back from vacation, like you look skinnier, like, and it's literally I actually gained weight. So it's definitely from gua sha. It has a bunch of benefits and it also has a lot of history, which I do want to talk about before I start because I think it's very important because this um, practice has been around for a really long time and it's important to know it because it's very um, special, I think. So the meaning of gua sha means shaving away illness. Gua sha has been used for thousands and thousands of years. It is an ancient Chinese practice and I read that it originated in the Paleolithic era. Um, another YouTuber, Dr. Tina Ho, has a video on gua sha and she stated word for word um, under her video, gua sha is a traditional Chinese me medical treatment that releases unhealthy elements from areas and stimulates blood flow and healing to treat wrinkles, age spots, and circulation and allergy problems. Dr. Tina Ho, um, I literally quoted that from her word for word under her YouTube video, so I can link that below if you wanna watch hers. My routine that I've developed is from Tina Enjo. Uh, she's also on YouTube, and I really suggest you follow her because she's gonna. she has like tons of gua sha routines, and I just like found one that was best for me. I don't do a lymphatic drainage one. I just do like the sculpting one, so I like work from the neck up. I don't work down but you know you can't do both but i find that every time i do do gua sha i have so much tension on my right jaw side like right here oh my god it hurts so bad like because i think i clench my teeth when i sleep but yeah i also like got the mista i think that's how you say it um i'll link her channel below and lamora beauty so those are like my favorite people that i've learned a lot from and they're awesome but i'll be showing my routine in real time so it's not going to be sped up but you obviously can sp speed up the video if you want but yeah we can go slow you can do it with me it's going to be really relaxing um this thing is from uh vanity planet i got a facial steamer and this came with it so you might be wondering why i am doing it in here and not in the bathroom but i cannot get this thing in the bathroom and the bathroom has horrible lighting in it i really really do like facial oils because i feel like i get a really deep clean out of them and this is the only literally the only facial wash i have i don't use anything else other than that i might still have makeup on my skin or dirt on my skin after but i'll do like two rounds of it but I mean, I don't usually break out and yeah, it's just been really working for me. So it's just like, I feel like it's like really natural. I don't know the ingredients in it, but I usually don't leave it on for that long if I don't have makeup on because I feel like it doesn't really need to like extract anything. But now I will take a wet washcloth. I don't do warm or anything. It's just cold water and then I just wipe it up. Just take it and then go up. Um, this is a organic bamboo washcloth. I find that it's very, very, very soft compared to other washcloths. It just is almost like, it's not like, doesn't feel like silk, but it is very, very soft. My mom got me these. I'm not sure where they're from, but I know they're organic bamboo. So. Now that is done, I will take my rosehip oil. And then one, two, three, four, five, six drops. And just pat it on my face. Put it on my neck. I don't really know. People say like, oh, you should pat. Oh, you should rub. I don't know what it is. I like patting for this one though. 
And if it feels too dry because you don't want like some gua sha people or people who do gua sha like put so much on their face and then others put so you can have that like pull. I think six drops is right in the middle of the two. After you put your six drops of the rosehip oil, we will now take the gua sha. I start here on my left side and then I'll do five of these. So I go up using this side. I hold my chest here and then I go here. And then like I do a little wiggle right here. So you don't want to do it too hard. Um, you don't want to have any redness or anything on your skin. You're not like digging in there. You're kind of just like hiding it. Um, I do put a little pressure, but I don't uh, do it to a point where my skin turns red. And then I do, I take this heart side and then I go here and then I'll bring it right here and then I'll do a wiggle. And that's where it really gets my jaw and it like hurts, but it releases so much tension. So number two. Um, on this one, I literally like just do the back and forth movement like multiple times or you can do like mini circles like this. Oh my God, this side hurts even worse than this side. But if you have a, um, a 10 side, definitely work on that and get it released. So then after that, I take this side again and I put my two fingers here and I, slow, I always have my arm lifted like this because it's also a little arm workout, but I just go like, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then after that, I'll do, take this side. I don't know if I was cross-eyed looking at that, but <laughs> I'll take this flat side and then uh, I close my mouth, put my two fingers here. So that was a little move I got from Tina and Joe, she does that little one, two, three, four, five flick thing with her cheek. I don't know. You know, I think it's like for these lines right here, but I liked it, so I kept it in my routine. And it's, you close your mouth again, put your fingers here. After that, we go back to the heart and I just hold my nose right here. My face is a little red from that one, but that's okay. Um, take this and glide. Sometimes you don't realize how strong you are when you do this. I know some people that only stop like right here or some will go like all the way up like into their scalp, whatever works for you. Slow, 
light, gentle strokes. And you definitely want it like on your skin. Like, do you see how my eyes being pulled like that? Like this? And it's not like this, like, I think if you really want to, cause this contours your face, but if you really, I think want to like dig in there, I think using your fingers can like, um, really, really help with that. You know, I feel like you can like go harder with your fingers cause it's not as strong as a gua sha, but I don't know. So then after the eye one, I take this two fingers right here and then do the eyebrow slash eyelid. That one feels really good. And then after that, uh, I take, I hold my eyebrow here and I take the gua sha on here, this side, flat side. And I hold my eyebrow and I just go up, wiggle, up, wiggle, up, wiggle. You can also hold your eye like this. Wiggle. I think um, I got that one from her too. I think that one is just like for like a little natural eye lift action. Uh, personally, I will never be getting Botox. Um, I'm really into natural anti-aging uh, remedies, and this has been my favorite one for absolute years. I've had a jade roller. Gua sha's are where it's at, in my opinion. Um, also a facial massage with your fingers compared to a, uh, a jade roller. So then moving on to the middle of the forehead, the flat side, I will take my two fingers like this and go like this. Smooth out those wrinkles. Also, or I hope I've been doing five each time. If you have more time, you can definitely do um, 10 strokes. Like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, seven, eight, uh, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I used to do that, but I found that like the five is doing me well because I'm doing it every single day, like whenever. So now we're gonna do the other side. If you wanna stick with me. Uh, if you wanna skip ahead, skip ahead, but. This is a real time massage, so you can do it with me. So back to the flat side. I pressed really hard on that one. Um, there's also one video that I saw that you can do this and bring it forward. Really get that chin, you know, two. Oh my God, this side is just, I don't know why my right side is like crazy pressure or tension, but. Mm. Wow, I hold something back there. I don't know if it's my ancestors like trauma or what, but holy fuck. It is like, oh my
My grip is literally like so different on my right hand. It's so hard to do. Okay, and then now we do the little eyebrow lift thing here. Two. And I can see why this could be like, this does work for like an eyebrow lift, you know? Okay. Um, yeah, so I already did the middle of my forehead. Um, I know there's some videos that, you know, people do like their nose and whatnot. After my gua sha routine, you drink a glass of water. Let me go get one. You take a deep breath. You thank yourself for showing up for yourself today and that you finished a amazing practice um, that has so many benefits. So yeah, cheers yourself for showing up and doing your routine. Um, now, after I gua sha, I take my tallow and I just do a little bit like that and I rub it all over my face. I'll rub that all over my neck and whatnot. If it was the day, I would put on just a little bit over a pea size of the Eminescence uh, Mineral Defense Sports Sunscreen. Um, I put it on my neck and my face. So yeah, that is my gua sha routine. Um, I really, you, uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. It is definitely something that you should incorporate every single day if you can. I think that connecting with yourself and showing up for yourself and just practicing like a really awesome form of self care is really important. And it is a huge stress reliever for me because you're breathing, you're being very intentional and I feel like you're just like, basically taking away stress, you know? You're just getting like, it's acupressure, that's what it is. It's like, they do that because it's, you're also doing acupressure at the same time. Um, so yeah, there's tons of videos on YouTube. This was just my routine. Um, I think my results work phenomenally. Uh, so yeah, if I wanted to do my fingers, I would just take that and go here, like that, or like this, you know, whatever. But. I thank you all so much and I will be back with other videos. So thank you.